Hello everyone, Joanne with StampingInTheValley.com and welcome to my craft room. It's time for Paper Pumpkin in July. I'm so excited for this kit. I've taken my shrink wrap off, and but I have not even opened this box yet. Now, if you are brand new to Stampin' Up! or Paper Pumpkin, you if you are brand new to Paper Pumpkin, you'll receive a block that says Paper Pumpkin with your first subscription. This is so much fun. Looks like a very, very fun kit this month. So let's open and see what we get. Now, this is a full-size kit, so you receive everything in it to craft with, except for you might need a scissor. Here we have, oh, a Blackberry Bliss Stampin' Spot. I love Blackberry Bliss, one of my favorite colors. You get a nice stamp set. This is a fantastic way, if you are new to crafting, this is an absolutely fantastic way to start. This is so pretty. It's a party. You're invited. Look at that little bee right there. So cute. You light up my life. When, where, RSVP. Let's see if I can get this right. Um, oh, the summer nights are all alight with everything magic and bright. That is a beautiful saying. Beautiful, beautiful saying. So fun. So here is, um, well, this is actually the add-on. Now, sometimes Stampin' Up! offers what's called an add-on. And this is just $10. You get the card bases. You don't get anything that goes on them, just the card bases. The item number is 154973. It includes 24 additional card bases and envelopes. Let me show that to you because I did get that. Here's some card bases. This is this is that kit right here. I mean, it's enormous, guys. It is absolutely enormous. There's one, there's two, and here's three of the designs that you get on the add-on. And honest, this is just $10, and you even get your envelopes. Look at these envelopes. They have the little B inside, and then you have a Blackberry Bliss one. And then whatever color blue, like a mint macaron or whatever color that is. We'll go through that in just a moment that we'll talk about all of this. Because <clears throat> what happens here when we open this up comes in this beautiful tissue paper. And you get a full-size kit right in here. So if you are new to crafting, this might be the way you want to start out. Lift that out of there. Let me move my box. So, with Paper Pumpkin, you get full-size directions. And the reason why I stopped is because in here will tell me all of the um, colors that are in the kit. So, let's see here. Let's open this up first. I love to open this with you guys because I get so excited with these kits. This is a one time a month. I don't need to design anything. It, the kit does it for me. So I just love that. And then I usually do alternative projects. Um, so here, let's see what's in here. Oh, we have glue dots, dimensionals, and some twine. Here we have, oh, look at those stars. Gold glittered stars. I, I, this was, this is the back of them, the silver. I, when I flipped it over, I didn't expect that. So that's cool. Now here, from what I've seen on um, Facebook and some, uh, oh, this is a little bag. How cute. How cute. This is like a little bag. It, that's fun. Okay, so there's bags. Oh, we have a lot of those. Fun. Now we have some, this looks like maybe, I have no idea, because I don't look at this before I do it with you guys. These are like some fronts, because these match the add-ons. Oh, oh, okay, I got it, I got it. So here's the add-on. Let me bring this in the frame. So there's the add-on for that, and this is like a, a front, a card front that we will glue down. But with the add-on, we get a full-size card of it. Here's this one, there's that one. Oh my goodness, I'm just impressed with this, okay? So there, we'll go there with that. Of course, beautiful white envelopes. We can have fun with that. And look at this. These are like little lanterns and our bee. And I'm from New Jersey, 
So I grew up on the Jersey Shore back in the 70s, just had an absolute fun time on the Jersey Shore. And so this totally reminds me of the shore, totally reminds me of the boardwalk, the rides we used to ride on. So much fun. I've got to take this out of here. I have to look at this. Oh, so cute. That's going to make a very cute card. I've already seen what, the, what we do with these lanterns, and that's going to be adorable. So you have all of these punch-outs to work with, and now we have these acetate. Oh, I didn't know that these were trimmed in gold. Look at these jars. Oh, and I know this goes with these lanterns. It's going to make a very, very adorable card. I've been looking at things. Now, here are some. Um, these are your tags. Just punch out. Just like that, and you, we will make gorgeous tags for these cards. I can't wait to get into this kit. Just a piece of cardboard. I'm going to show you something about this cardboard when I start putting the kits together. Now, right here, this is in your kit. Everything is, this is the back of this flyer right here. Okay, so I want to show you everything just in case you're new to it. So here it is. Here's the cards and the bag. Oh my goodness, that bag's adorable. Um, and then it tells you the colors down here. Blackberry Bliss, Calypso Coral, Coastal Cabana, Knight of Navy, and White. Here's everything that comes in the kit. Now, on this side, though, is some alternative projects that Paper Pumpkin and or the designers at Stampin' Up! have come up with for Paper Pumpkin Ideas. So, if you want to do more with the kit that month. So much fun. Now, inside <clears throat> are the directions. It's just so simple. Um, so you, we will just follow direct the directions and go through the card and then right down here is a ruler just in case we need to and I'm sure we will need to measure off some twine that it even comes with a ruler like I said the most you need is a pair of snips that's it okay I am I'm excited to start and I'll be back in a moment and we're going to put one card together Okay, so I'm back, and I've already put two of these cards together. I had to do this with the Ferris wheel on it first, the amusement park one. Now, let me say this, okay, because when I open the kit, I get really excited. I read nothing, and I'm like, ooh, what's this and that and the other thing, okay? But these, these are actually, guys, invitations, okay? to put like invite to maybe a pool party or a birthday party or something during the summer that might be going on okay now this is not going to happen this summer because of everything that is going on so i i have already done an alternative project with the kit itself and i put it on a card base and i just made a card out of it and i thought it really came out cute okay so this base does not come in the kit Okay, that is from my craft room. I used Blackberry Bliss at 11 by 4 and a quarter, scored at 5 and a half, just like that. Then I used Calypso Coral on the inside at 5 by 3 and 3 quarter. Regular Whisper White here um, to stamp on at 4 and 3 quarter by 3 and a half. These are my normal, um, like, go-to measurements for the inside of a card. Okay, this is so, these are fun to put together, just fun. So let's move our um, kit in here, and I've already got my base cut, and here is my front. Now see, um, where did I put the stamp set? Um, I have all my stuff mounted here. Where I want, Oh, here, so clear. Um, you see where the line is here, and then it has the where, when, and RSVP, you're invited, it's a party. This is to make an invitation on the flip side of these cards, and, but that's okay. We are going to use them as card fronts, which I think came out adorable. So now, I was going to show you what I saw on the Stampin' Up! video. Um, usually, I use a foam, my foam Stampin' Up! pad, okay? I use this to stamp photopolymer on because you need a little bit of give. You don't need that with the red rubber that cling because the pad is already on there. Um, so now we're going to use this uh, punch out right here 
and these are raised on one side and kind of indented on the other and really and truly they both look great on either side so um, it doesn't really matter what side you use I actually had used one one way and one the other over here on these and um, this one is raised and then this one is like debossed right there and I think they both look great so I'm just going to use this one like this and uh, this wonderful saying oh the summer nights are all alight with everything magic and bright I just love that that is just that is a summertime summertime saying of course these kits are designed and created um, probably a, a year or so before they're released so who knew okay oh now you see the cardboard underneath here right this comes in your kit and we, I was just talking to you about oh, that came out perfect I was talking to you about the foam that I usually use to stamp with well I saw on the Stampin' Up! video that um, the person that was doing it used this cardboard underneath and it seemed to give them just enough of a cushion to where it worked I was impressed I was and as you can see it worked perfectly I was very impressed that's a nice crisp image okay let's move that aside let's go ahead and work on the inside of our card right here and um, you light up my life I remember coming down here to Tennessee and there was a I believe I swear I believe it was a James Bond movie and you light up my life was like the song and as soon as I saw that it took me back to college I have to admit that so there we go and there we go there I digress All right, so, so that's funny okay now um, this beautiful kind of um, firecracker looking starburst we're gonna do that in Blackberry Bliss right down here in the corner and I'm gonna make sure right here that I don't catch the other side of the circle I want that little white area for some reason I don't know why but that's the way I want them all to look like that just like that now let's get a white envelope we're gonna embellish that even more and we're gonna do the same thing with this gorgeous starburst and now on the back here we're gonna do the whole thing that is so much fun now we have this teeny tiny firefly and I'm gonna use this firefly in Calypso coral and let's see I'll put this one top one here cute and then let's get this one flying that way and that one flying that way oh I missed it wait let me get right over it let me see if I can save it sometimes you can look through your photopolymer and get really lucky yes and I did came out good all right so there's our envelope let's bring this in and let's get our fireflies going in different directions just like their fireflies in a jar I read books from an author her name is Joanne DeMeo and um, <clears throat> they, they, all the books are set at the beach and I just love the way she writes she can really paint a wonderful picture in your mind but when I saw these fireflies, I remember in the book reading of where they do these, um, what do they call them, happiness jars in, in this book. So uh, I'm going to put this on my Calypso coral there. Um, so in the book, they, they have these happiness jars. And when I saw this kit, it so reminded me of her writings. And honest, guys, this summer, I have not read as much as I should. I try to read a little bit I was trying to read on her books like every single night just like for an hour or so and um, her books are like progressive it tells a constant story about these beach friends at this beach um, so if you really want something fantastic to read I just really love her writing uh, at very easy you can find them on Amazon her books um, I'm, I'm not an affiliate or anything like that I just happen to like her writing and I follow her on Facebook uh, but anyway this 
kit reminded me of her books. And then I really felt bad about not reading as much as I um, had in the past. I don't know why. It's not like I haven't been home, you know. <laughs> And I just, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what happened. I have, I need to get back into the habit of just sitting and reading for an hour. Okay, there we go. So that's our inside of our card. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and attach this with the orange on the bottom and the stars up here, just like we're at the boardwalk in a nice warm summer night. There's a boardwalk in her books, too. So I, and that's why, too, that I'm drawn to that writing because of the boardwalk and the beach. I love the beach, if you know me. You know I love the beach. If you follow me, I talk about it all the time. We have not been able to get there this year, of course. And what is this? Okay. I don't want that on the back of the card. Okay. Just excess glue. Here we go. Let's go ahead and add this flat to there. Now, um, of course, now with with if you're going to do this, you know, you could use Tombow. They do supply some um, glue dots, but now with this, you would want to put this on here with some glue dots. Okay, I'm going to use Tombow just for the sake of time. So I'm just going to put a little liquid glue back there. I'm going to save those right here. Oh, isn't that lovely? See, now this reminds me of, um, what is that? Label me pretty dies. Uh, so, and now we have, I have a fourth one here. So you have an extra. So that's nice. That will go on something in, uh, with the uh, extra card kit. Now let me get, let's get our Ferris wheel. Oh, this is so cute. So right here is our amusement park ferris wheel so cute there's two together here so you've got an uh, a more to go you've got an extra because i'm doing three cards so i guess there's like three six nine invitation let's see what does this say up here yes nine postcards and envelopes and nine tea light bags so see, the bags would go with the uh, invitations as a treat bag, like you were at a party. And I believe that that's, you know, where it was coming from. But since that's not happening, I will make a card. And I think it's coming out just absolutely adorable. I'm going to see what other colors that I can use with this. I'm putting my mini dimensionals on the back here. Um, what other card bases that I can use with this and we will do it with the other you know the other parts put some here they give you plenty right okay nice so let's go ahead and take these off and here we are done with our first set of three cards I love that I I love to complete my kit with you guys it, it, allow, it makes me complete my kit so that I don't have, you know, like half of it done over to the side. I'll get to it, you know, that kind of thing. So now in the, in the picture, it shows it right to the bottom. I happen to like a little bit of that orange showing down there. It just, I think, allows that boardwalk a little bit more definition there with that gold line. Cute. Now, oh my goodness, to finish it off. The best, the best part. These are fun. These are a lot of fun. These are large and fun. And we want to make them in the shape of a diamond or a, a triangle. Triangle right there. Just like that. We can drop this one down maybe even a little bit if I can lift it. Well, no, nope, we're committed. I was going to say you could drop it down to here. It would look cute right, right above the um, Ferris wheel, but I think we're still good. So right here is our three beautiful cards with envelopes. Here we go. See, I put that one a little bit closer. Cute. Here we are. Let me get them all together. That's the first set. Oh, it's just so cute. Fun, fun, fun. Fun in the craft room. Okay, I'll be back in just a little bit 
and I'll put the second one together. Okay, I completed this card with the um, vellum jar, and I absolutely love it. I backed this one with some Coastal Cabana as my base, and I really think it came out beautiful with the Blackberry Bliss. Here's the inside. So these measurements in here are Blackberry Bliss, five by three and three quarter, and regular Whisper White, four and three quarter by three and a half. Standard measurements, just a little different on the coloring between this one and this one. We're going to have a nice um, array of cards when we're done. So, and then we've got this going on here. This was so cute to do. I'm going to show you how to, with the jar, not let your glue show. And you do get extra jars. There's a lot of extra jars in here. So let's see, how many do we have? Um, they're fairly thick, too. Two, three, four. Do I have one over here? Let's see. Might have three extra jars, looks like, to me. So that is wonderful, and that will then um, be able to be used on that kit, the, the add-on kit. So I really, really like that. Okay, so let's see. I've, I've completed two of them. This, this is so much fun to do. And um, here is our base, Coastal Cabana. And I did 11 by 4 and a quarter, scored it 5 and a half, so it'll open like this. Let's go ahead and bring those inside measurements in. The Whisper White at four and three quarter by three and a half. We'll stamp on this. Now, on the um, right here, because these are invitations, okay, really they are invitations. It says up here, nine postcard, well, they're postcard invitations and envelopes plus nine tea light bags. Um, so, but we are making cards out of them. So, here, right here, and it says it's a party. I'm not having a party. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and use You Light Up My Life. And, um, or are we going to, we're going to use that on the outside. And then that beautiful saying about, oh, the summer nights, which reminded me of that book that I was reading. We're going to stamp that in there in Blackberry Bliss. And I went out there and got the first, her very first copy to show you in just a moment. So I'm seeing that this cardboard underneath is really working. I love that. That's fun. Okay. I'm happy for that. I always wondered with the uh, paper pumpkin, you know, how people were going to do that or if they had a foam mat, but you can use the cardboard. Okay, now with this um, element right here, we're going to use Coastal Cabana, and we're going to do the same kind inside, just a little starburst effect. And, but with a different color. And now we're going to use our little fireflies in Blackberry Bliss. Oh, kind of got that one. I'll fix that in just a second. Let me bring that down or bring this over so I can get right over top of it. I'm not going to re-ink. Remember, there's always side two. Okay, we're good. We got it on there. That's the beauty of photopolymer, right? So, from here, we're going to attach this to our Blackberry Bliss right here. I have to admit, I have a love-hate relationship with this new Stampin' Seal, okay? <laughs> I'm always honest. I'm always, always honest about it. There's days that it just rolls right out of there nicely for me, and then there's days that it just doesn't. I don't know. But it's extremely um, permanent. Okay, so this will go on the inside of our card right here. I lost it there for a second. Right there. Oh, love that. Cute. Right, that Blackberry Bliss and Coastal Cabana really look nice together on this card. Okay, now on the outside, we're going to use this one. It's got the purple and the white and then going into the Coastal Cabana and a light Coastal Cabana here. So that's going to go right on that front there. Do 
just here. Nice. I love the way that the card is square, but these are rounded corners. Now, I always learn something from Paper Pumpkin. So now let's go ahead and bring our element in to stamp you light up my life on. And let's see, where's that? Right here. And we're going to do that in Blackberry Bliss. Right there. Nice. Okay. Let me let this dry. And we're going to do our envelope. So let's get that going. Oh, maybe I do have four. I'm seeing a jar over here. I might have had, let's see, one, two, three. No, I've got four jars from what I'm seeing left over. So, okay, that's nice. Go on the, that other kit. Now here we're going to do Coastal Cabana. Cute. And you know, it doesn't even matter. You don't even need scrap paper. This is cardboard. So you can just stamp. That's great. Now let's bring in our little fireflies. Blackberry Bliss. So, um, yes, uh, yesterday, okay, on the, which I was filming yesterday, and now, it, now it, I started Friday, and now it's Saturday. So, um, on the previous video on the card, we were talking about these books that I like to read, and how she called these, um, what were they? I had the name of it on the last video I told you. Um, no, wait, I don't have four. I have three. I have to use one. I'm getting confused. I'm sorry. So I have three. Okay. So uh, um, what were they? Friendship jars. And uh, so here's the book. Let me get this out of my mind right now. Here's her first book, Blue Jeans and Coffee Beans. This is where if you wanted to start to read these, Joanne DeMeo. Blue Jeans and Coffee Beans. You can order them on Amazon. And this is the very first, that was the very first one that you would want to start with for the, um, the story, you know, because it's like ongoing. Now I take this, I'm going to put two glue dots over here. And what we want to do, and this glue dot is a little bit left of center. What we want to do when you use vellum is to hide your glue because it shows. So we're going to take this. I'm going to place this right here. All right, just like that. Now we're going to use our fireflies. Two of our beautiful coastal cabana with the gold. Isn't that pretty? And then one of the blue ones, which is like a knight of navy. So much fun in this kit. Okay, now we're going to take the... Um, Mini, glue, uh, mini dimensionals and put them on the back of our fireflies. Take these little backs off. Take us a second. Okay. Now, what you want to remember when you put this one together is that you want to put this jar together off of your card base. Make sure that you do this off of your card base, okay? Because you'll see the method to my madness in just a second. I'm going to put my fireflies here. Okay, leave the blue one off. Flip this over. Now, where you have things covered, you can place your glue dots. One here right behind those fireflies, and then two on here. And honest to goodness, guys, this is plenty to hold this down. And it does, you know, I like it kind of to be loose because it does add a little dimension to your card. Okay, so remember, decorate this off of the card. And see how I've got this a little bit left of center? You'll see why. When I put this on here, I want some of my card uh, uh, front to show here. I don't want that all the way over, so that's why I scooched it over just a little bit. Okay? We just want some of that. Oh, I'm doing the wrong thing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We have to stamp. We have to stamp. Let's do that. Let me get my card base, or my, my card base on top of my cardboard. We need to stamp 
three of these, three starbursts, one here, one here, and one here. Again, there's a triangle, okay? So sorry, we about forgot that this is an important step because it makes it look so pretty through the vellum. Watch this, right there, and leaving space, look at how you can see that. And see how nice that just, right down there, perfect. Now, to this is loose, just take your little firefly and let one of its wings just hang over and it holds it down perfectly. Look how pretty. Oh my goodness, that Coastal Cabana is just absolutely gorgeous. Now I've got all three of these completed. Look at this. Oh, I'm just so happy with our collection. Two and three. And then we have our three here. Oh, we are getting a really nice collection of cards together today. So now I'll be back in just a minute and we'll put the last part together. Well, if you've loved this kit so far, you're really going to love it now because this is fun. And I'm going to teach you how to make that um, beautiful thread there of lanterns. So here's what I came up with with this one. Use a little Coastal Cabana in here. And that measurement again is five by three and three quarter and the regular Whisper White is four and three quarter by three and a half. Remember, you do not get the card base or the inside of the card with these kits, okay? This is actually for, I keep saying it just in case someone kind of comes on in the middle of things, um, but these are actually postcards for invitations. But I wanted to make cards with them. So they really came out absolutely adorably cute. Look at that, just cute. So I've done two. We're gonna do one together. Let's bring our cardboard in as our base and let's start with the inside of our card. And we're going to stamp in there, you light up my life. The two colors on this we're gonna use is Blackberry Bliss and Coastal Cabana. So just like that. And so let's see, we're going to use our Starburst and I'm going to do that down here and then here. And it didn't even matter. You know, I'm on cardboard. I don't even need the um, the paper. I, don't, I, I was just used to doing that, so I guess that's why I did. Or having, you know, a piece of scrap paper. You light up my life. We'll go on the inside here in the middle. Perfect. Then we're going to place our little firefly in Coastal Cabana. I missed that again. Oh. Okay. Do we like it? We can go with that. I think we're okay. Here. Ah, oh, no. No, no, no. Side two, side two, side two. No, no, no. You light up my life. Right there. Blackberry Bliss. In her corners. Cute. And now fireflies. And let's just take our time, make sure our ink, our stamp, totally meets the paper. I was getting in a hurry. There we go. Perfect, right? Okay, let's move that aside. And now let's bring that base in. Uh, again, this is Coastal Cabana, five by three and three quarter. We're gonna go ahead and attach this here. I just had an awful thought if I was putting glue on the wrong side. Then I looked and I was like, no, you're okay. <laughs> All right, right there, nice, here. And now the inside of the card base, and it is 11 by four and a quarter, scored at five and a half, of Knight of Navy is what I used with this one. Pretty inside, isn't that pretty? That Coastal Cabana, boy, it really makes everything look nice. Okay, now we wanna take our card front that comes in the kit, 
Let's bring our cardboard back in and we want to stamp our starburst and we're going to walk up. Okay, watch how I do this. One, two, three, four, and then off the page, five. And then you have a nice graduation coming up that card front. And that is a great way to go if you're doing DSP or something like that. That's a good pattern right there. Okay, let's move this aside. Let's go ahead. We're going to attach this now to our card front. Right here. That just looks so nice. Oop, I did it upside down. I did it upside down. We can save it. We can save it. All right. We want the lighter toward the bottom and the stars at the top. Lighter at the bottom, stars at the top because of the lanterns. It's a summer night. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now we're going to bring this little element in and stamp that wonderful, beautiful saying. I just love this saying. Right here. Nice. And now let's move that aside. Let's bring in our directions right here. And we are going to use our ruler. And the directions up here for this card tell us four inches of twine right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut an eight inch piece right here. And then just pull it together just like that and now they're four inches okay so that's nice and we have just enough twine left wow they really cut it close on that one don't make a mistake um, okay we'll bring in our base and now what we want to do with the twine right here is each piece needs to be knotted at both ends so go ahead and loop it around make your knot and then scoot your knot all the way as far as you can get it to the tip with a little bit hanging off right there okay want to make a knot on each end of each piece right here see how I'm just kinda of walking it up there to get to the tip and let's go ahead and do this one So there, you can, you know, you can use enough uh, twine on your fingers, but then just take it and push it up, push the knot up, okay? So that, you know, you got enough twine here to make the loop like that, and then just hold on to it, and then as you're working it, just push it up. You can see right there, good, okay? Now, we're going to use our glue dots. You want to come a little bit right of center on this first glue dot. Right here is where I'm going to put it. Watch how we do this. This is so much fun. So you're going to take your knot, you're going to put it in your glue dot, and I just take my tool, you could take your take your pick tool, and just kind of scooch it under there. Okay. Now you want this to hang loose. What we want now is to get our lanterns. We need a um, Calypso Coral lantern. We need a little round um, Coastal Cabana. And then we need the darker Knight of Navy to go on this first one. I love this. I had so much fun putting this one together. The little I'm very impressed with the little lanterns. Love them. Now watch what we do here. On our thread, our twine, we're going to go ahead and put these lanterns on. Go ahead and thread them. First goes the Coastal Cabana. Then the round not Coastal Cabana, um, Calypso Coral, then the round Coastal Cabana, right here. And don't worry about where they're at. And now your Knight of Navy. Okay. Now you're going to take a glue dot and you're going to place it on this knot. That knot, hold on to that glue dot right there. Gonna, there we go. 
and now you're going to pull it just a little bit so that it's taut just a little bit not there where it's buckling the card just so that it's taut I scooch my glue under there my glue dot under there flip these three up watch how we do this this is so sweet I put um, dimensionals on them right there let's get our backs off and now with this we want to work from the top lantern You don't want your lanterns to have any kind of a an angle on them. Okay, watch. This one comes down. Scooch it up there and let it come down straight. Straight down with the lantern. Okay? And then the rest will fall into place. Let them come and hang straight down. Not sure. Don't pull it. This one can come down a little bit more right there okay and now this one and just like that isn't that cute isn't that adorable okay now now let's go ahead and put our saying on there and I'm just gonna put some I want mine popped up with dimensionals so cute These are all stuck together, aren't they? Hmm. Let's take that off of there. They weren't coming apart. I'll cut them. And here. Good. Yep. That came with me. Okay. Let's take these backs off. Watch how sweet this is. And now we're going to put this wonderful saying right here in the center of our lanterns. And now we're going to come in with our, uh, our next um, glue dot here. And we're going to put it right near that one. And then we're going to put our knot in here. a piece of paper stuck to my tool there with glue okay now on this side we want the blackberry bliss one and not a round coastal cabana we want kind of the jar looking coastal cabana not a round so we want these two and we're going to put our Blackberry Bliss on first, then the Coastal Cabana one, and now again we're going to put our glue dot on the end of our twine there. Okay. And now we're going to pick this up. And now see, I want to pull it taut, but not bowing the card. And just put it right here. Isn't that cute? And then we're going to do the same thing with these little guys. A couple of these. Put the little dimensionals in there. Get our backs off. And now, pull these down and let them be straight also. That's the key to this. You don't want a bunch of wonky little lanterns hanging out all over the place. You want them straight. Isn't that adorable? Oh my goodness, that came out so cute. So sweet. Okay, now let's see. We'll just do a, an envelope really quickly here. And I am so happy with this kit. Just really having fun with it, as you can see. I hope whoever has um, subscribed to Paper Pumpkin this month, I hope you're having a lot of fun with it also. And then here. 
And as you guys know, I love to use ink. I love to stamp. Oh, so cute. So we do a little bit extra. So like this is the kit, but it's like an alternative. It's an alternative kit because I made cards, right? Here's our three. We've got those ready. So uh, look at our array of cards. We've got these ready and we've got these ready. Okay, now the big thing now is to take these bags because I don't need treat bags, guys. So I'm going to design something where we use this front, okay? I'll be back in a minute and we'll finish this kit up. Okay, here's what I came up with for the fourth card, and I think it came out adorable. So I cut my bag, and then I made a card front. We will work with Blackberry Bliss at 11 by 4 and a quarter, scored at 5 and a half. When you open it up, it's Calypso Coral, 5 by 3 and 3 quarter, regular Whisper White, 4 and 3 quarter by 3 and a half. This bag is cut. We're going to do one together. This is about 4 and a quarter right here. So let's move all of this out of the way. And let me get my ink back. And let's go ahead and cut one of the bags. Now, here's the trimmer. Can we get in there? Yeah, we're good. Okay, here's one of the bags. Now, what I did was I opened it up. I took a scissor, and I want it bigger than what I wanted, of course, at first, because we're going to trim it down. So I'm just going to cut right here and then come across like the bottom here, not really worrying about it too much, okay? I need this to get flat. You can use this for something else, paper or whatever. Now, what I want to do first is establish a bottom here, and I want this at four and a quarter. That's where I thought that it looked the best on that card. So right at about four and a quarter, and I know that, I, you know, my edges right now are crooked, but we're gonna fix all of that. So just four and a quarter on that, right there, okay? Now you want to turn it and then cut out these um, lines of the bag, okay, without cutting into, of course, where you have your firework or starburst, whatever you want to call that. And there you go. That's how quick and easy, that's what I did. That's exactly what I did. So easy peasy on that. All right, now. Let's bring our card base in. Um, yeah, it's Blackberry Bliss, 11 by 4 and a quarter, scored at 5 and a half. Calypso Coral for the outside, 5 and a quarter by 4. And um, let's go ahead and do a little stamping first. I have my cardboard. I love that I saw this. Now I'm going to take my bag there, my little starburst, some Blackberry Bliss. Bring my inks back in. And we're, we're just going to stamp right over top of this starburst. Three. You're going to stamp three times, just like that. Absolutely perfect, right? So let's move that aside. Now, with this, of course, we don't have an envelope because the kit, you know, is ready for the bag. So I just took one of my regular Whisper White envelopes and, whoo, I about went into the Calypso Coral and just went ahead and decorated this, these beautiful envelopes. They're just absolutely gorgeous. Our, our envelopes are just top notch. Now we're going to do this, our fireflies in the Calypso Coral. Just like that, let's move that aside. Okay, let's see, now what do we need to do? Let's do the inside of the card. Okay, right here. And we'll take our Starburst in Blackberry Bliss in our corners here. Wonderful. And our Fireflies around it. Oh, do you see what I did? I just went into Blackberry Bliss. Oh. Okay. Clean it real quick on the chamois. Into the Calypso Coral we go. There we go. So adorable. Now, in the center of this one, we're going to put that wonderful saying in 
Blackberry Bliss. No, uh, in Blackberry Bliss? No. Calypso Coral. Calypso Coral. Came out real pretty. Oh, that's beautiful. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, let's move that aside. And let's go ahead and adhere this to what we're going to put on the inside of the card, and then we'll be done with that. I sure have had a lot of fun in this craft room today finishing my paper pumpkin kit and I absolutely love my happiness jars that's what they're called happiness jars our fireflies our little lanterns we made a happiness jar cute very fun kit today here we go right in here just like that oh that's so pretty Okay, now on the outside, let's go ahead and attach our piece of Calypso Coral. Make sure what edge, okay. I'm going to place this here. These are just very standard card sizes. Everything reduced down by a quarter of an inch. So we have that nice border around. Okay, now we're going to add this. This is very paper thin. Be very careful with your adhesive. You could even use glue dots if you want to. So I'm just going to put this kind of around here just to secure it down. Just like that. Let's see, do I get any there? Okay, card base, whew, that is sticky. And now watch the jagged edge, and you want that up at the top. I want that right at the top. Nice, just like that. Oh, so pretty, so pretty. You light up my life in Blackberry Bliss right on the Calypso Coral, just like that. And then these little stars were in those punch outs. So I want to use those. I'm just going to put them on with glue dots. One right on this side. And one right on this side. Just like that. Now, this is, this is what makes the card, plus our little dragonfly. I think those little fly, uh, fireflies, it's not a dragonfly, the little fireflies are adorable. I'm putting these right in the center of that white space there to let it just explode out. Now, uh, just a dimensional back here, and I wanted to add some of the Calypso Coral in on this to tie all of our cards together today. That is so cute. Let me get my ink out of the way. I am so thrilled with how we turned this um, kit into a, look at all of these we have left over. Wow, and I love these. These are great. Got a lot of that left over. I have just a couple of dimensionals, a couple of glue dots, barely any twine left. We really used the kit, right? Really, I can't wait to make something with this little lantern here. And I have no idea what this is. I'm going to have to look to see what other demonstrators do with I don't know what that little piece is for. So as soon as I figure that out, I'll use it. <laughs> here are our cards. This is a nice array of beauty, right? There's this. Okay, let's go here. Oh, what such pretty colors this month. Look at that Calypso Coral with the Coastal Cabana. And it's just making happiness. This is my happiness jar for the books I like to read. So I made my happiness jar today with you guys. What could be happier? Just that. So there's that. Now here's with the Ferris wheel. 
right? Let's push this up a little bit so we can get everybody in the picture. That with the Ferris wheel, we've got three of those. And oh, our lanterns. Didn't the lanterns come adorable? The lanterns are very, very sweet. Very sweet kit. I hope you've enjoyed this video uh, with our definitely an alternative kit project today um, because I just we're not going to have a party so that uh, but that's okay we made some gorgeous cards look at this happiness jar card oh my goodness I love the way that that shows through there I always get wonderful ideas with paper pumpkin please go to stampinginthevalley.com click on the big blue button order any and all of your Stampin' Up! products there's also a link there to join paper pumpkin um, and there will be a link below this video actually to join my paper pumpkin team. If you're on my paper pumpkin team, you receive the two free card kits every month. These are the card kits for this month. Every month they change and so my paper pumpkin team gets those card kits also and they're free. I appreciate everyone watching my videos. I appreciate you guys just tuning in and having fun with me and crafting. I will be live on Sunday night at 7 p.m. Hope to see you then. Have a wonderful day and do some happy crafting.